Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another tutorial. I'm 7Beats and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install your plugins into Apple Studio. Right now I'm using the most recent version of Avel Studio, but if you're using an older version, the process should be the same. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you the easiest method. So as you can see, I've just created a folder on my desktop and named it plugins and just put this free scope plugin in there. So the process for a synthesizer or effect, it's all the same. Uh, what you should focus on is this .dll file, so this application extension. This is the file which FL Studio will recognize. So right now open up FL Studio, open up your channel rack, right click on a sampler or whatever is in there, insert and select more plugins. So this is the select generator plugin and you want to manage plugins, so right here. And this is the FL Studio plugin manager. And right now, in most of the cases, the folder is already selected. But if you want to install your plugins on an external drive or whatever, that's also possible. So we created a folder on the desktop. So I'm just going to select desktop. And right here is the plugin folders. So it could be a random folder which you created or some default folders. So select it and press OK. So right now the folder is added to the path and you want to make sure these settings are enabled and we really want to verify the plugins. So FL Studio will scan if it's an effect or a synthesizer. And right now find more plugins and this could take a while. And right now just find your plugin and there it is. So it should be marked yellow. So right now make sure it's selected and open up the plugin tab this one and you could adjust the name and the type is effect because we use the for five plugins function and I've also already recognized it and right here the preset file name is saved and right here category so that could be scopes if we're using multiple scopes like this and apply changes and right now the plugin is added to your plugins folder so thank you so much for watching this tutorial, let me know if you have any questions and see you guys in one of my next tutorials.